Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's 2021. Wow, we made it. We made it, guys. We made it. We made it. Um, unfortunately, there's so many people that didn't make it, guys. So may their dear souls rest in peace. My heart goes out um, to each and everyone who lost a family member, a friend, a loved one. So, yeah, man, we, we're thinking, we, we're keeping you guys in our prayers and our hearts. But you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this year, man. A lot of things that I think, you know, that can happen from this year. Um, growth, definitely. More success, definitely. Um, I don't really have New Year's resolutions. I don't know if you guys even believe in New Year's resolutions. Do you even stick to those resolutions? Because um, I'm sure, you know, we all say we want to do X, Y, Z. And it doesn't really, you know, pan out that way. But... For this year, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions. Um, I, I would say something that I feel that I really want to change and that I've started changing is, you know, to put more of my trust in God Almighty. You know, there's a lot of times that we stress, especially in these times, you know, with these lockdowns. We are currently on level three, right? So it means, especially in you know the the sphere of work that i'm that i'm doing entertainment you know djing events sound you know video uh, uh, content um anything you know entertainment related we can't really do and i think our industry really suffered the most you know so no income that's bad you know so it's a lot of times that you're really depressed you know and you go in that mode of you know you're very negative and you know that's a lot of a lot of stress and i mean especially when you have a family and you know there's no income you know it's a lot of things that weighs on you as a breadwinner or a husband a father you know so it has been tough guys and you know what i've learned from that is why should i you know endure all these problems all by myself when I have a loving God that can deal with these problems for me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's really, once you get into that mindset, it really, you know, it's it's really, a, a, you know, it has lifted, you know, some of the weight of your shoulders. So, you know, that's why I've decided, you know, you know, to you start, you know, trusting more in God and, you know, all my prob problems leaving it up to god i mean obviously if you believe i think if you believe more in god and trust more in god then everything will just run smooth and you won't believe it you know i mean even you know this december there was a time you know obviously it's christmas it's festive season you want to buy you know um presents and stuff and now you have to stress about money and stuff and, and, and i remember it was this this one particular day I think it was the Tuesday before Christmas. I prayed and I just said, God, I'm putting all my faith in you, all my trust in you. Uh, I know you're going to you're gonna sort me out. I know you're going to sort out my family and you're going to help me. And the next day I got a call. So, business. You understand? I landed business the, the following day. So, that just tells me, if you really believe, that's going to happen. Just believe. All right. Enough about uh, all the serious talk, guys. I want to show you guys something really cool in DaVinci Resolve. Um, how to remove an object that you don't want in one of your scenes. Um, I've got some footage here. You know, it's a, just a short drone clip that I've used. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by the object that I do not want in that particular scene. All right, so let's go. All right, so here I am in DaVinci Resolve. And I've selected this clip. Just a very, very short clip. Um, of some drone footage that I shot last year for um, an organization, you know, it was part of this Jerusalem uh, dance challenge that was happening all over the world. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot, a lot of videos. Uh, this was done in Kimberley, so you know, it was one of those videos. Um, so I've just taken a clip from this, and as you can see in this clip, if I just enlarge this a little bit for you guys. Um, Let's do this. Right, as you can see in this clip, what do you see? The shadow of my drone. Right, so uh, just a, a quick disclaimer. This is not a clip that I've actually used in the in the final product. 
product or the final video that I shot for these guys. It's just something that you know that I've picked up. Obviously, I've cut this out. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's a very stupid shot anyway. So uh, why would you use that in, in any video? Right, but I just wanted to point out, I mean, obviously, as you can see the drone, the shadow of the drone here. Um, obviously, if, if it is that you gonna use a particular scene like this obviously this is something that you have to be very cautious of and make sure that you don't have you know um, drone shadows or anything uh, of that nature in your in your footage right and I mean obviously how does it happen I mean obviously if the direction of the Sun obviously as you can see where the, the shadow is it means that you know the Sun was at the back at that moment right and that's why you see that shadow over there so be very very careful when you do actually shoot drone footage and make 100 percent sure that you take you know the position of the sun into consideration when you do um you know professional um, shooting professional footage for clients right so how do i get rid of that shadow that is the way in davinci resolve magic all right so i'm about to show you guys let's get into it man let me just go out here okay so this is a short clip right here and I'm gonna go to my color tab over here right go to my color tab over there and now uh, as you can see let's just do this boom right just do that and as you can see I've done a quick grade on this clip just you know for it to look like something you know I mean obviously if I take I've take all these if I mute all these um, um, nodes and you can see obviously that um, it was log footage you know and then obviously if I switch it on it's just a quick grade that I've done guys so yeah nothing perfect all right okay so what what are you gonna do what's the what's the thing that you have to do obviously so let's say you're gonna now obviously after the last node you're gonna create another node right create another node because everything that you're gonna do that the object removal you're gonna do on this particular node okay so the first thing that you want to do is go to your your windows over here right i'm gonna click on it and in this case i'm gonna use the circle right i can use this one but i think uh for the sake of this tutorial i'm just gonna use the circle because you can see the shadow is, you know, it's, it's very small. It's not a something big. So I'm just going to do that. And then we're just going to change it and make it a bit smaller. So it goes around that shadow of the drone. And I'm just going to bring it down. And I think I can make it you know, much more smaller. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that. So I would suggest, you know, remember now this is a moving footage, right? Um, like you've seen, it moves, right? So take it back to the beginning of the clip, right? And then make sure this is, you know, on top of that. So now we're going to have to track that um, small mask that you created um, around the drone shadow. You're gonna have to track that so how do we do that very important like i said make sure your 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 club is at the beginning right your cursor is at the beginning so now we're gonna go to our track over here right and i'm gonna switch on the frame it's a very short clip and then i'm gonna track it forward right and then i'm gonna track it back again just to make 100 percent sure that it is actually doing a great job and now as you can see if I enlarge that and I move this, you can see that that circle is it is tracking quite well, right? So I'm happy, 100% happy with that. Okay, it stays in place. It follows the drone um, as it moves through the scene. So right, we're happy with that. So let's go back here. All right. So the next thing that you want to do now is you go to your effects right so you're gonna open your effects and in your search uh, tab you're just gonna type in object removal and there you have your effects and you're gonna drag that effect on top of that node boom 
Alright. So now, what you're going to do is make 100% sure that you change your scene mode to object, right? Because that's the only object that we want to remove. So I'm changing it to op op object, and then I'm going to do a scene analysis. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to wait for it to process. Not going to take very long. Boom. Right, so now if I do that, do you see the shadow? It's gone. Absolutely gone. But now, here's the thing. Um, if I scroll back here, you will see that there's, you know, just that. You can see that circle kind of. Um, yeah, well, you can't see the drone shadow anymore, but you can see that circle. That we created that mask that we created you can see it you know it's got you know, a kind of a hard edge right so what i would maybe do is maybe just go back to my and i would maybe just you know add a little bit of um softness not much right uh and then i'm just gonna let's go out here let's just click there let's go to track uh, Right, okay, so, but now, right, I'm gonna click there and then let's do this. Um, I'm sure you're still gonna see it, but it's not gonna be, you know, so, okay, you still see it, right? So now, the other thing that you can do to remove that is if you go to your, um, on your effect, your object remover, right? go to your render you see it says search range and it says blend mode so now you can change that blend mode from linear to adaptive blend now i want you guys to look carefully to what it does to that hard edge if i select adaptive blend so i'm gonna click on it boom i mean i mean come on guys this is so cool it's gone you don't even see a hard edge nothing right it's gone so that's how you can remove an object in the venture resolve this software this program is powerful guys i mean if you don't have this by now make a plan make a plan download it you get a free version you can do a lot of things in a free version and you get you you have a studio version it's only going to cost you 300 dollars if you convert it it's about six grand you know it's a once off payment uh you don't have to pay monthly subscriptions you don't have to pay annual subscriptions it's a once off payment and then you have the full studio version each and every time they update it you get you know a notification you just update it for free and there you go you have you know the software for life right I mean, if that's not a good investment, then I don't know what is. Seriously, this is a great investment. So, yeah, guys, I mean, as simple as that. One thing that I have to mention that you have to be very careful of is if you're going to remove an object, you know, from a scene, make 100% sure that, you know, the surface on which that object is. You know is that you know the, the 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 color scheme and everything is remains you know it's more like 99 percent the same or 90 percent the same because if there's going to be a lot of things here different if there was maybe uh, a lot of shadows or i don't know something different in this particular road over here it might not have worked that well you know so it's something that you have to be very careful of in in bear in mind if it is that you want to remove something like that um yeah and also i mean if if it's going to be a very long clip and you're going to have to track it it's going to take some time so be patient in this case i've just selected a you know a small portion of that clip you know I've, for the for the reason of i i don't want the tracking to be you know to take a very long time you understand what i'm saying so the reason why i selected a sm small clip and uh, but i mean the evidence is there yeah, as you can see it's done a perfect job a great job uh, i must say so yeah man that's how you remove an object in davinci resolve so i hope you guys enjoyed this 
quick tutorial guys um i hope you guys are learning there's a lot of things that we're going to be focusing on this year if it is that you want me to focus on something in particular please let me know right and uh let's let's do it you know let's do it um so please guys do comment let me know uh what what would you, what you would like me to focus on next maybe next week or you know coming weeks um uh, please subscribe if you have not subscribed subscribe give the video a thumbs up please uh, i'll give it a thumbs down if you don't like it i'm not gonna send it in your way give it a thumbs down subscribe don't subscribe like do not like it's up to you i can't force you guys right but if it is that you find these videos value valuable and if it is that you are learning from these videos um then why not subscribe you know all right but in that on that note guys i just want to say thank you so much and all the best for 2021 go out there go and create uh be creative just do your thing just do you i'll see you guys next week all right i'm out peace